Hello everyone and welcome to Atlas City of Your New. My name is Istina. This is a part 2 video about Lithuanian cuisine and in this video I will tell you all about the most common snacks, side dishes, desserts and drinks. If you would like to know more about the main meals that you can find in Lithuania, then have a look at my previous video, the part 1 of Lithuanian cuisine, which I will link at the top right corner of this video. While main dishes take the spotlight for any cuisine, the things that I will mention today are just as important to our culture. So let's start with something that most cultures in the world use, but Lithuania is a little different than that. The bread. Lithuanians are in love with dark rye flour bread. This kind of bread is much thicker and nutrient dense than white bread, so a smaller amount of it will fill you up much more than any of those sandwich breads. But of course, Lithuanians have found a way to make it less healthy. By making this extremely popular, indulgent, but very delicious snack. Fried bread with garlic and melted cheese. It is a very common snack to get to share with friends and also it fits perfectly with beer, of which I will talk later. While speaking of bread, there is one thing that, according to the habits of most Lithuanians, is the best match for it. Smoked goods. All sorts of smoked meat, fish and sausages are enjoyed by many and they are served not only on sandwiches, but often can find them in a cold cut snack mix at bars and restaurants. There are so many varieties of these meats, but some of the most popular ones are the traditional sausage called skelandis and lachine, smoked pork fat. Most Lithuanians know that if you want the best quality smoked meats, you have to go to a local market and avoid supermarkets. Or even better, find someone who does it at home. There are quite a lot of people who have a smokehouse in their backyard. There is one side dish in Lithuania that is considered to be essential for some holidays like Christmas and Easter. It's called Balta Mishrenia. It's the Lithuanian potato salad, mixed with boiled potatoes, carrots, pickles and a few other things. Such salad is quite filling, so in Lithuanian we even have two words for different kind of salads. Salotos for what most people would consider a salad and mishreine for the type like balta mishreine, which is more filling. There are other similar type of mishreines, for example made with beetroot or herring. And herring is a whole different topic. I think it is liked in the whole Baltic region and Lithuania is no exception. Herring is a great starter dish to try in Lithuania. There is a lot of room for improvisation. Herring can be served with onions, nuts, mushrooms, carrots and quite popular in restaurants is the traditional way with a boiled potato. While Balta Mishrene is essential on Christmas Day and Easter tables, herring is a very popular choice on Christmas Eve's table. During the Christmas Eve, there usually are more than one herring dish to choose from, as the whole dinner is all about fish. Next is something that originated in the west of Lithuania. Kastinis. Kastinis is a traditional Samogitian product, produced there for hundreds of years. Kastinis may not be the most popular food to try in Lithuania, but it is definitely worth a taste. It looks similar to butter, but it is actually a blend of butter, sour cream and kefir mixed with some spices like herbs and garlic. The best way to serve it is with hot boiled potatoes, but spreading on a slice of bread is just as good. One food that is regaining popularity these days is pressed cottage cheese. This can be found in any market and supermarket and it can be consumed in a few ways. The best way to enjoy it while it is most fresh is to eat it as is or with some honey on top. By the way, Lithuanians are very proud of their honey production too. Anyway, if you don't want a sweet cheese, it can easily be altered. Lithuanian cottage cheese can be baked in the oven with a variety of spices, each mix giving it whole different taste. Both baked and fresh cottage cheese recently became a popular addition to hotel breakfast buffet, which is a great way for visitors to try Lithuanian food, because this kind of cheese is not easily found in restaurants. Oh, and there is another cheese that looks just like that, but it's a little different. It is apple cheese, which is a dessert made of boiled and baked apples with sugar, disguising just as a cheese. This means that it's time to talk about the sweet side of Lithuanian cuisine. Here are some of the most popular desserts. 
jagarelli, a traditional deep-fried dessert. It has two varieties, one just with flour and eggs, and they become very crumbly after frying, and other made with cottage cheese, which makes them taste a little bit like donuts. Both very delicious. Speaking of donuts, Lithuania has their own style of donuts. They are made of cottage cheese and in the shape of small balls, sprinkled with caster sugar on top. It's best as is, but sometimes jam is added as a filling inside. Next is probably the most popular dessert in Lithuania, tinginis. The word itself means a lazy person. I guess that goes for how easy it is to make it. It is a chocolatey dough with crumbled biscuits inside and it doesn't need any baking. Tinginis is also easily found in restaurants, bakeries and shops. Another Lithuanian sweet will always remind me of my school days. They are little gingerbread biscuits disguised as boletos mushrooms. I used to buy these handmade sweets after school from local grannies selling them in the main street of Konas. I don't see them being sold in the streets anymore, but they are not hard to find. Most important is to find ones that are traditionally made. When it just melts in the mouth, the black glaze is made of chocolate and white glaze is citrusy and not forgetting all the mushroom details, the bottom is dipped in poppy seeds to appear like dirt. Perfect! One more mouth-watering dessert that you can find in Lithuania is shakotis, a tree cake. It is made of the flour and eggs and is baked for hours, rotating it by the fire. It actually originated from the German Baumkuchen dessert, made in a similar way. Shakotis varies in size and the bigger celebration people need it for, the bigger shakotis we get. One celebration that cannot happen without shakotis is the Lithuanian wedding. People will go through great lengths to get the best shakotis for their wedding, and it is very fragile too. For my own wedding, which happened far away from Lithuania, my family somehow managed to bring it through a long plane journey without breaking it. But the love for shakotis it goes to the next level too. There is a record holding shakotis that can be found in Druskininke region. This giant shakotis has a Guinness World Record for its size. It is 3.7 meters high and weighs almost 86 kilograms. To end the sweets journey in this video, I would like to mention something that is actually quite new, but unique to one place in Lithuania in particular. That is cucumber ice cream in Kedaini city. Kedaini has been known as the largest cucumber and pickle producer in Lithuania for a long time. Obviously, the next step from there is making something different. So if you ever find yourself in Kedaini, definitely try this ice cream. Finally, let's talk about drinks in Lithuania. One most commonly known thing about Lithuania is actually that it is a beer country. There are many large and small and craft breweries all around the country. During my traveling around Lithuania, I've seen a lot. Almost every region has its own brewery. And actually, the oldest company in Lithuania is a brewery, established in the 17th century. So beer enthusiasts will definitely find lots of beers to try in Lithuania. Another kind of related drink to beer is gyra, kvas, which is very low in alcohol. Naturally brewed, it can contain only up to 1% of alcohol. Gyra is made from fermented black bread with sugar. It can be quite a refreshing drink on hot days and it is usually available in traditional restaurants. A completely non-alcoholic drink that you can try in Lithuania is Kisielus. Made from various berries boiled with starch and sugar, it has quite an interesting thick consistency. Kisielus might be harder to find in restaurants, but almost anyone and anywhere can make it because it needs only a few very simple ingredients. Kisielus is mostly consumed in Lithuania during Christmas Eve dinner. It is one of the main attributes of a traditional Christmas Eve dinner. Lastly, I would like to mention one hot drink as well. In Lithuania, we have something called acorn coffee, gilukava. It is a caffeine-free beverage brewed from ground roasted acorns and it is actually a healthy alternative drink. It is anti-inflammatory, contains iron, B vitamins, other minerals and helps to control blood sugar. The prepared beverage is brown and can be served with milk too. So that is all I have for you today. What do you think about these foods and drinks that I just mentioned? Which ones would you like to try? 
maybe some that you definitely wouldn't want to, let me all about it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching!